New at 6, Iowa firefighters got a special training today with the help of the U.S. Army Reserve. KCCI's Ethan Humble went to Sailorville Lake where he got a look at the collaborative drill. Saturday search and rescue training is one of a kind and it's happening from the sky all the way down to the water. The Chinook helicopter flew in, the Zodiac boats were inflated, and the crews were briefed Saturday, all before boarding for a unique training experience. Some of them were scared. Most of them are excited. The U.S. Army Reserves and multiple Iowa fire departments teamed up to make it happen. Crews of soldiers jumped out into the water, simulating what could be a real-life situation. In a battlefield scenario, we could be uh, inserted via helicopter. Then it was up to the local fire departments to rescue each and every one of them. Once you get here, just hold on. The teams typically only pull out one or two victims in their other training, but Saturday they got plenty of practice. On three. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Today we're getting the opportunity to pull out, you know, 120 to 150 live victims from uh, from the water, which is something that we we hardly ever get to do. And the reserves made a new addition this year. Along with jumping themselves and bringing their gear, soldiers also dropped Zodiac boats. The soldiers will have to grab their gear, place it into the Zodiacs, and or flip the Zodiacs if they come out backwards or upside down, get into the boats, and they'll row back to shore. The reserves also say that training is a great recruiting tool for up-and-coming soldiers. Some young kids sent at home someday may see this on TV and I was like, oh man, I want to jump out of helicopters. And the fire departments are happy to be along for the ride. And it allows us to support them, and uh, it's just a great opportunity for, for all of us. Crews plan on making eight trips to give everyone a chance to go twice. In Johnston, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.